Welcome back to Reef Knots. Today we're going to be learning the Oriental Tie Knot. I don't know why it's called the Oriental Tie Knot and I'm not really going to speculate. But we're going to learn it in this mirror so all you're going to need to do is put your phone next to the mirror, copy me exactly and if you can't do that then you've actually probably got no business wearing a tie at all. Okay, before we get going, let me know in the comments where you are watching this from. We are teaching millions of people a month now how to tie ties and they're leaving their locations in the bottom. I'm probably going to pick a couple to give away some ties to, so that's another incentive. And by the way, what is up with Nepal? The, like the whole, the whole of Nepal have learned how to tie a tie with me. Every comment is from Nepal. So I'm either huge in Nepal, a bit like David Hasselhoff in Germany, or then maybe they have a really strict dress code or... I don't think they do have a dress code in the pool. Anyway, maybe someone from the pool, because you're probably going to watch this, can let me know why. Anyway, let's get on with this. I'll start waffling. Okay, this image is now mirrored. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to learn is that this tie is tied back to front, so the labels and the insides of the tie are going to be facing out. The next thing you're going to need to learn is that the thin end of the tie is going to need to be quite short. How short will depend on your body length and also your neck width. So you may need to do this a couple of times before you get it perfect. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna cross the thin end of the tie over the thick end of the tie. And then I would use your forefinger and thumb to just squeeze that together so that you have a nice secure start to your knot. Then I'll take the thick end and we're gonna cross it over the front like so, pull it across, and then you're gonna take this thick end again and tuck it from behind through this loop. So just tuck it again through that loop. It may be the wrong way around, but you can just turn it so it's the right way around, but naturally it should, it should lie face forward. And then you're literally just gonna tuck that through this loop that you've got. You can probably let go of it now. Tuck it through the loop and give it a little tug, not too tight. Then we're gonna squeeze the bottom of this knot. This is where a lot of people give up, but you squeeze the bottom of the knot as you bring it up, then give it a further little tug. Squeeze the bottom of the knot, further little tug. If, if you want to get a dimple, once you're nearly at your neck, is a good time to stick your finger in the middle of the knot and just pull the knot slightly down. See that? Pull the knot slightly down, put a finger in the middle, and you'll get that nice dimple. Give it a little tug. Keep squeezing the bottom of that knot to make sure you get a nice triangular shape. Pull your collar down, and that is the oriental knot. Okay guys, so that is it. If you have done it, then please give the video a like. I know you've done it, because you've got the best teacher, and good teachers make good pupils. We all know that. So. Give the video a like if you've done it. Sub to the channel. We've done something for you. You can do something for us. It's like a two-way thing. I saw someone the other day saying it was called doing me a solid. Don't actually do me anything solid. Okay, thanks for watching, Nepal, and we'll see you next time.